Mac, oh my God, it's Retro News on Black Sabbath Sunday. Tony Iommi once beat up a journalist after an awful Black Sabbath interview, threatening to cut his head off. Black Sabbath may be seen as a metal institution with undeniable cultural impact and influence nowadays, but the band wasn't always this widely acclaimed. During the band's early years, Ozzy Osbourne and company were often slagged by the media who refused to accept this new darker sound emerging from Birmingham, England. A while back, guitarist Tony Iommi reflects on those rough years and the difficult relationship that Sabbath kept with the media back then. The musician recalled one particular episode with the journalist that ended up in violence, saying, I had a problem with a guy from the Melody Maker many years ago. He came to my house to do an interview. I picked him up at the station, and I picked him up in a Lamborghini. And he came back to my house, and we treated him well. Anyway, then he left after the interview, and the interview was awful. He slagged us terrible. And it was a personal thing. It wasn't the music. It was just really not nice. And I saw him again at a gig. And basically, I beat him up. And then, of course, nobody would interview us. I remember when we were in America. Of course, it got to America about what happened. And we're doing all these interviews on the phone. And I'm going, what happened? They don't really like us face to face anymore. And they're going, well, they heard about the journalists in England. The journalist, Alan Jones, later told his version of the story. He says, I went to interview him at his Stanley pile. He opened this big creaky door and I started to walk in and fell flat on my face. I tripped over a big horse carcass. I said, where the hell did you get that? And he told me Ozzy had killed it. We went through into the dressing room. He was supposed to be this wild man of rock and we were drinking tea out of China cups and eating biscuits. He was talking about how God and the devil might controversially be the same person, but he didn't want to go in too deep. I came back and wrote this up exactly as it was. I later got a message from Tony Iommi saying if he saw me again, he'd cut my head off and feed me to his dog. One day while I was checking into the hotel at Glasgow, I felt a vice like grip on my bicep that nearly broke my arm. And I turned around and there's Tony Iommi and he said, you're Alan Jones, ain't ya? I've got a bone to pick with you. He dragged me across the floor of the hotel and out into the car park and said, right, put him up. I tried very hard to say it was all water under the bridge, but he wasn't persuaded. He was taking off his Rolex and wrapping it around his knuckles. And I thought, oh no. And he just split my lip. I must have lost about three gallons of blood. Fortunately, two of his roadies dragged him off. Jones became infamous among rock critics in the 70s and 80s, with Pink Floyd's Roger Waters calling the journalist a stupid shit over a negative review of the band's iconic album, The Wall. So Tony Iommi basically beat the crap out of some guy that later on would bash on the wall. That's pretty damn cool. Anyway, after that incident, Tony Iommi went back to his house and he read a book and everything was fine again. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And ring that little notification bell and give this video a like. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So... Stay frosty, listen to Black Sabbath, and smack them a gob. Check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast with the Podcast Kings. And also the YouTube page where you have a link to the podcast and YouTube page right down there in the description. So join the greatest podcast ever. According to Science.com, God, and Satan, it's their favorite podcast. It'll be yours too. Check it out. Link is below.